And our top story is the health of Walter Payton. His friends, his teammates, fans all call him sweetness, but there is no sugarcoating the fact that Peyton is now facing the challenge of his life. At a news conference today, Walter and his doctor explained that the Bear Great has been placed on the waiting list for a liver transplant. Peyton had no peer on the playing field, becoming the greatest ground gainer in NFL history. That determination should be an asset in fighting this rare disease. ABC 7's Brad Palmer joins us live with more now. Brad, how's Walter doing? Actually, he's in pretty good spirits, uh, all, to, all told, uh, Linda. He was in good spirits up until the very end of his news conference, at least, and then he regrouped, and he was fine again after that. And his wife, Connie, said that she's very happy for Walter, that he's uh, taking this thing as much in stride as anybody possibly could. The prognosis is good for Walter if he can receive a liver transplant. His doctor says that the average person waiting for a transplant waits two years. But someone very close to Walter told me he doesn't have that long. He needs a transplant much sooner. He needs it this year. And I think that reality may have set in with Walter when at the end of his news conference, he was asked if he had a message for the people of Chicago. To the people that really care about me. To the people that really care about me, just continue to pray. And for those who are going to say what they want to say, may God be with you also. So a very emotional ending for Walter. That brought an end to the uh, news conference. That's his son, Jarrett, who uh, had a news conference just last week to announce that he's going to the University of Miami to play football. And had Michael, or had Walter Payton not been at Jarrett's news conference, it's unlikely he would have had this news conference today. He probably would have kept his situation a secret. But so many people saw him at that news conference and on the air, saw the fact that he had lost a lot of weight and began to speculate. That is why Walter called this news conference today. He wanted to end the speculation. He wanted everybody to know what his situation was and that he is very optimistic about a full recovery. He says if he does get the uh, transplant, it's 98.9% that he'll be okay. And uh, that's what's in his corner right now. He's going with that statistic. Let's hope he's right. From uh, Carlucci's in Rosemount, where he had the news conference, I'm Brad Palmer, ABC 7 News. Linda? Bears finally beat the Packers, blocking their way to their first win at Lambeau Field since 92. They also ended their 10-game losing streak to the Packers, and you know Walter was watching closely, as was the professor. With 34 on the play clock and 34 on a patch above their hearts, the Bears came out giving it their all. Cade McDowell went down almost immediately with a sprained knee, but the Bears didn't skip a beat with Jim Miller. The Bears ran for 160 yards, 49 of them on this third down play. Lynn Milburn giving the Bears a 7-3 lead late in the first quarter. Then late in the third quarter with the Bears trailing 10-7, Jim Miller and Bobby Engram connected to put the Bears back in front. It was 14-13 when Brett Favre put on one of his patented last-minute drives. It came down to a chip shot 28-yard field goal. And darned if Brian Robinson didn't block it. Well, the Bears didn't formally dedicate this game to Walter Payton. Some individuals did. Hey, I told you yesterday, we're going to play with Walter right here for the rest of the season, baby. Walter's in our hearts. So is his family. Did Walter get a hand on that ball? I think he might have did. Walter, thank you. Thanks a lot. I think he looked down upon us. Absolutely. I think he, he put his hand down here for us and blocked that kick, man. It's beautiful. I felt something on my glove. I see the ball going over the line of scrimmage and Tony Paris just falling on it. And, you know, right there. You know, wow, did, did this really happen? This game was not won for Walter Payton. You know, but uh, I will say this. If everybody on our team plays with the effort that 34 played with, I uh, guarantee we would never lose a game. What does this victory mean to you? Fred, I just can't begin to tell you. I'm sorry. It, <laughs> I just can't begin to tell you. It, it's been an so emotional week. memories in this place. Memories of Walter through the week and the way it happened today is incredible, isn't it?
30 years ago, the Bears couldn't win one for Brian Piccolo, but today they did win one for Walter. Not everybody shares that opinion, but when the legend is greater than the truth, you always go with the legend. From legendary Lambeau Field, Brad Palmer, ABC 7 News. And finally, our Brad Palmer talked to Walter Payton about what he could do for a good time while covering the Bears in training camp up in lacrosse. You want to have some fun? Yeah. Okay. What do we got to do? Well, yeah. Really? You want to know? Sure. <laughs> you're, you're taking my job. No, Brad. Nobody can take you. You're the best. Brad Palmer is the best in Chicago. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the lightning.